What am I doing? What am I doing? Mind speaking to Mr. Jefferson? Hi. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Maybe. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows, uh, yeah, um... <laughs> that's the, yeah, consequence then. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Oh, yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, why did he tell you, but let's just talk about it anyway. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. <laughs> so, now I'm known as a pot dealer. Hey, want some pot? Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Hey, Alyssa. Watch you your head. Out of control. Turn okay. left, Why are we taking a photo right. of you? Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? I suppose it's called reminiscing. Yes, no, baby, sir. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Yes, it's called contemplation. That's the word I was looking for. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Waiting to draw da What? Okay, sure. Oh, That's draw. a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. You did say draw, right? Not drug. Waiting to draw Dana after yeah. Hayden gets his paparazzi what? on. <laughs> what? Do you think did Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Principal, well, they're talking about me in front of me and they're not even looking at me and this and most importantly, they're sitting at my desk. No? No. <laughs> Which one should I speak to? Should I speak to Victoria or Nathan? Whatever. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Nathan, insert crude name here. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. I see that. Hayden's gonna hate. Uh, there's no point to speak speaking to uh, Lackey or Victoria. Let's speak to Tori. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. Oh, yeah. Nah.
What am I doing then? Just waiting. Oh, Kate, 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 Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. No. What am I doing? Get, get. Move. Move. Look, now, seriously. Out of all the times, you have to move. You have to move. Max. Max. I know it's been hard to sort out all of this, but... What? What up, Max? <laughs> hey, Warren. <laughs> I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Okay, okay. Ugh. Usually, People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. I'm sorry, just bear with me. Um, I'm gonna make a point of standing here. This I didn't think about Chloe just then, but uh, now there's three things that might happen. I've got to choose which one to go to, either Chloe to help her out with something, uh, Kate to help her out with something, or Warren who might do something. I assume that if I don't go to Kate, then she's gonna end up killing herself. If I don't go to Warren, he might actually drive off somewhere and get himself hurt. And if I don't talk to Chloe, well, close Chloe. In but, the end? Yeah. We can only blame ourselves for participating. <sighs> Come on. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Yes, I can. I'm sure you Come read on. the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. We don't technically Boston see in Monaco. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Yep, so yep, yep, not coming yep, to my class yep, like that ever again. Yep, yep. Listen, everybody remain seated. Oh, come on. Dismissed. No. Is this for real? Did she... Did she... Pitch flipped out. I didn't did she throw herself out yeah. the window? No. No, no, she didn't. She did. No, come on. What did she do? Come on. I'm, I'm genuinely concerned now. What did she do? Who is that up there? No, no, no. She can't die. She no. Can't. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Get to this bit, come on, get to this area. No, you can't. Please. This is it, stop time. Good girl, come on. Stop time. There we go, there we go. Keep going, Max. You can do it. You, you can do it, come on, you can do it. Okay, you can, you've got to you've got to stop her from doing that. I know, I know. Damn birds! I know for sure that uh, it should be all right. Come on. Yes, that's Warren and Alyssa, but I don't care. I need to help her out. Come on. No, come on, please. Why didn't you catch her? Bitch, why didn't you catch her? 
please, come on. That's it. Yes. Don't watch her. No, because it looked like I've just pushed her. No, come on, 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 come on. Speak to her. Speak to her. Speak to her. <gasps> what are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Things will get better, won't work. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Uh, you're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. Nathan, no, crap. I believe you. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. Sounds so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. No. Be horny on the internet forever. Did I screw up? No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. There are billions. Out there. Kate, there are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get. Or the laugh. I understand, truly. I, I get bullied too. But this is a blip. Yep. My no, life is no, a no. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. No. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. They do. They do. Your sisters. You've got sisters. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. No, what was it, Proverbs? It was Proverbs. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. No! 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 <sighs> I screwed up. It was Matthew. <sighs> Screw you, Bible! Oh, 
Oh my god, I was so flipping close. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All three. Uh, I'm gonna just go straight to Nathan. All I know is that Kate me. was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Right, I'll try the other two. Honestly, I am... Um, that's another Ms. bitch. Miss Caulfield. I... I... <sighs> I am just like completely. I don't know what to think. I was so close, and then this just. <sighs> Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, falsely accusing other people seems to be a habit with you. I trust my security officer. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nate. Sign here to confirm what you've told. No. I'm not happy with that one. I'm not going to blame Mr. Jefferson because it has all been going on for ages. I'm just going to stick with Nathan Prescott, the son of a bitch. No, I'm happy with it. I'll sign.
Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
It looks like Kate's got her folder now. This has to be Samuel. Oh. Well, that's episode two. I... I, I, I just really am at a loss for words. My God, that's so bad. Um. Yeah, okay. Don't get do it, kids. Be good. Think about other stuff and... Oh man, uh, yeah, depression does get you down and stuff, but don't, don't ever go through it. Don't honestly... Make sure that you just keep on trucking. Because there are people out there that do care. And obviously this brings it towards it and everything. And that you see loads and loads and loads of people like talking about it and it generally is something that you can't get over easily. So when people say get over it I, I understand you, you just can't, you can't do that, but uh, it's something that you have to fight for, or oh, fight, and there's something out there to fight for, for everything, everybody. I know this probably will only get out to like a few people, but Honestly, if you if you know someone as well that's going through this, just I don't know, give them a helping hand. I mean, it it really does suck, but yeah, it, it's it's really harsh having to see stuff like this. But if if they want to bring up things like this, then by all means. Anyway, as, as for the actual, like, the episode itself was actually alright, I mean, obviously you got the few bits here and there which are kind of iffy and, but then again you've got the underlining plot and that underlining plot kind of like what you have to base the whole entire story on and it works. I think it works. I'm really interested to see what's going on next. Um, I would like to make sure I can put an end to all the people that have gone missing. I guess the ending somewhat means that Rachel's dead, um, but still, it's it's kind of harsh. And oh well. It's to episode 3. I am going to be doing the rest of this series, so um, yeah, I would just like to say there are a lot of hard-hitting topics in this, so yeah, I will probably make sure that you, you have a heads up on it.
hate you, Square Enix. Don't be all nice and stuff like that. You can't say thanks for playing and expect everybody to be happy. Okay, so 33% uh, told us to go to the, uh, told you to go to the police. They should have gone to the police. Answered Kate's call. Yep. Yeah. Didn't try to shoot. That's kind of half and half. Blame Nathan. <laughs> Barely anybody blamed Mr. Jefferson. Couldn't. Oh, oh, I feel bad. I am hoping to God that there are people out there that I could. I, well, I'm sure. I'm hoping that there's a way to actually get around that. I watered the plants again, I helped Alyssa, erased the thing. Who wouldn't? Uh, weren't friendly. What? Oh well. Accepted. Didn't write. That's for the next episode, I assume. Didn't write a message. Yeah, it's understandable. Tampered with them. Oh, you get to, there's two different ways of saving. One of them was for the fuse box. Didn't gain entry. That's because they didn't want to. I did help him. I tried. I'm sorry. Told on David. And that's it. Chaos Fairy. That would be uh, David or um, Samuel. I assume that the next person on that up that guy's list will be um, he he was barely there. Uh, would be Chloe or Max. I don't want to. I want to actually like. I really want to see if I can actually have a look. See if I can go back. can go back. Right, I'm probably gonna have to do a uh, an alternative ending because I can't have it like that. I was so close right at the end and then that happened but anyway. Uh, yeah, that's Life is Strange episode 2 and I'll see you in the future.